Dozens of residents came out to the Elmira City Council meeting tonight, continuing to voice their concerns over a proposal to build a new senior citizen assisted living facility next to the Maple Avenue apartments. 18 News attended the meeting to hear what those for and against the idea had to say. I don't live in the neighborhood, but what I heard today is disturbing to me. The ongoing feud between concerned people and CDS housing continues. It's over a proposal to build a new senior citizen assisted living facility next to the Maple Avenue apartments. Dozens of people showed up at an Elmira City Council meeting today to voice their opinions, some whom are for the apartment complex and others who are not. The new housing project that CDS is requesting will not only create affordable housing for seniors with income, but it will also create 15 housing opportunities for people who are homeless and likely to have little to no income. This program provides individuals with an opportunity to self-direct their services, giving them the opportunity to live as independently as possible with the support of their provider team. The fact that our AIM residents are frowned upon is upsetting. They have rights just like everyone else. Many of them work in the community. Many of our individuals volunteer in the community. If you have fam family members that receive Meals on Wheels, they probably have the opportunity to meet these great people. The proposal calls for another 50-unit complex on the site of former McNaught Field right across from Miller Pond. The owner says 15 out of 50 units will be reserved for supportive services for people under the age of 55. Current neighbors say the goal of the project is not a problem, but the location is. We are just saying that this is not the right area for this project. This is a single family, owner occupied, residential neighborhood. It's a very quiet area, very little traffic where we all know our neighbors. I would like to keep the neighborhood peaceful. I don't want another building. I don't want it for the traffic. I don't want it for the pollution. I don't want it for the people. The next step for the proposal is a vote by the City of Elmira Planning Board. It is unclear when exactly that will take place. In Elmira, I'm Trina Catterson, 18 News.